Hi, this is Marion Angelback in New York City. I use Autodesk Smoke and Flame Premium for conform and finishing work. In this video, I'd like to show you the different ways you can use data from Mocha inside of Smoke. Please refer to Imagine Your Systems website for detailed tutorial videos. I will start with a new feature from Mocha version 3 called the Camera Solver. We will generate an FBX camera and then import the data into action in Smoke. We'll use this clip shot in the middle of the village in New York City. Following the recommendations uh, from uh, Imagineer Systems, I have set four layers in this shot. We want to define the 3D space. We have the ground, track with uh, the perspective on, and with the grid we can see that this is you know, locked onto the, the ground. I have also the building on the right and the same thing we can verify that the grill is locked to the facade. I use also the building on the left. This is a plane perpendicular to the plane of the building on the right and perpendicular to the ground. This plane also is tracked. I use also the uh, building in the background. This is uh, also tracked and locked. All these layers will uh, now help us to define the camera solve. To do that, we'll switch to the camera solve tab and select all our layers. Then we will uh, choose the large parallax change in that case and keep the focal 35 to 70 which was used. Just click on the solve. This will uh, start the calculation. The calculation is finished and we can see the solve quality uh, for 89%, not bad at all. The last step is now to export our data. Choose the export camera data button. Select the second option, FBX 6.1 3D data. Click save. And I'm going to call it FBX 89%. We are now on the desktop in Smoke. We will start a new setup into action. Select your footage. This is the main viewer. We will look at uh, two views and look at uh, the schematic. We have the default camera. To import the new camera, select the node bin, select the object tab, and double click on import. Make sure that the FBX file type is selected here, and select your file. The FBX elements have been loaded. The first node that uh, shows is the new camera, now highlighted on the right. The first thing we need to do is switch from the default camera to this new camera. Having this selected, go to the object menu and in the result camera tab, switch to the Mocha camera node. If we look on the right, we can see different axes on the ground or on the buildings. And if I select these uh, axes in the schematic, we can see that they are uh, the different corners of each layer and their center. Each axis is an anchor that you can use to attach a plate or an object into the scene. 
We are now looking through the new FBX camera and if we want to see what's happening, let's select our camera and switch to a top view on the right. Switch your background off and we can see now the camera going down the street. We can see the four axis and the center of the ground plane as well. Let's create now a 3D text. Going to the node bin, to the object tab, and selecting our 3D text node, double click to create this node. With the axis, we can now position our text in, uh, in Z depth. To help us out, we can also set a right view and look at uh, where the text will be. Let's position the text a bit in the middle of the street, this being the building. We can change the size and the position to the left. Let's change uh, the text and give it uh, some depth. I will adjust the rotation of the text around the axis, position it in the same alignment as uh, the building, and if we move and scroll in the timeline, we can see that the camera is moving toward the 3D text. Welcome to Washington Square Park in New York City. In this uh, segment, I want to show you how to export a um, garbage mask shape to smoke. I want to isolate the eagle sculpture on top of the arch and we will color correct it to a golden color in smoke. Using the planar tracker, I will record the movement of the arch. I have created this layer that I call track, made of two different shapes. It is positioned on the front of the arch in the same plane as the one the sculpture is attached to. Make sure that the, the process option is on for the layer. Turn the perspective on and calculate the movement. This is a very shaky movement and we want to make sure we record the translation, the shear, the perspective. As the grid is turned on, it allows me to see if uh, the calculation is uh, correct. Going back to the first frame, I will scroll through the shot and make sure that this is locked. It looks very good. Let's turn off the grid. Turn the visibility on for the eagle. And uh, if we scroll through, this uh, layer is static. You just have now to connect that layer with a link to track to the layer that we called track. And scrolling through, we can see that it is now following exactly the same movement. Getting closer to it, you will be able to adjust and keyframe the shape if uh, needed. And just by dragging points, make sure that uh, the shape is uh, totally fit to the model. A little bit of adjustment right here. And this gets off the picture. Let's uh, zoom back out and turn off uh, the overlay. The shape is now ready to export. I select uh, the layer and in the track tab I will go to the export shape data 
and select the flame G mask option. Call it V3. Save this. Back in Smoke, on the desktop, uh, I will load the, the footage uh, into action. Take a front, a back, and a mat. And this layer here will be using the mask to isolate the eagle. Double click in the keyer where you go to the G mask menu and use the load G mask button here. Select your mask previously saved and now this is just locked to the sculpture. Looking at the mat, you want to turn the outside to black. Remove uh, any keyframe. Advanced gradient uh, come by default when importing a shape from uh, Mocha. In that case, I will toggle to softness, turn auto key off, and set a softness one minus one pixel. Returning to the main area, I can see in two views this uh, layer and the eagle separate from the rest of the shot. Let's turn on the back again and color correct the, the layer. We said we wanted to have a golden color. I can use the color corrector. I can also turn toggle to the color warper and load the setting that I had done before. Now the eagle is uh, turned to gold. Let's look now at another option in Mocha to export tracking data for a corner pin surface in Smoke. This arch in uh, Washington Square Park has been uh, recently renovated, but let's say we want to simulate uh, graffiti on uh, one of the pillars. This uh, layer that I call graffiti is uh, right now uh, static. The same way we did it for the eagle, we will attach and link to this layer called track. We can see that uh, this is now locked onto the pillar. We previously uh, used uh, the grid overlay to um, check uh, the track. Now I want to use the uh, planar surface to uh, position the surface where I want my corner pin to be. If I turn on this uh, zooming option, I can position each corner of the surface where I want. I position it uh, in the corner and in this corner here. To do that more precisely, the Adjust Track tab is uh, a very good uh, option to uh, move very precisely up, right, left or down. Select each corner and then move left. This one is uh, okay and the bottom be down. Once this is done you can uh, 
go back to the track tab to do the export or in the address track tab where you were to do this uh, export. Export tracking data, select the Autodesk IFFSC point tracker data and save it. This export will save the four corners of the shape and its center. I am back in uh, Smoke in the action setup we left earlier and I want now to uh, create uh, the graffiti. I'm going to load uh, a new layer, black ink and a mat and uh, create uh, the surface. Into the node bin and my surface tab I will select and double click on uh, Balinaire this uh, now brings up uh, this uh, plate and this plate here is uh, a four corner surface each corner can move uh, independently in order to load the data go to the vertices menu under object and select the track to get into the stabilizer. For each tracker we're going to load the data. Make sure that the file type is correct and turn from setup to track. We are now loading the tracker 1 for upper left corner. Tracker 2 will be the upper right corner. Tracker 3 lower left corner and the tracker 4 the lower right corner and we can see that all four points are exactly at the same corners of the planar surface now our graffiti is stuck to the pillar